guys so we're standing in front of a church from the 1700s oh by the way welcome back to v vlogs <laughs> this is our second location and we're gonna go inside it looks so cool it's a legit church that's been transformed into a livable airbnb this is so crazy like it looks like one of the churches that i went to as a kid like the catholic churches that my nana would go to so it's so interesting to actually be sleeping in here overnight. So I'll take you on a little tour. We haven't actually been into it. We've just put our stuff in the main hallway here. I'm curious, what does this thing do? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably for this old bell. Bell here maybe? Yeah. There's a leg on the wall. I'm not sure what it's for. Look how cool this is. There's literally stained glass windows and everything. This is like one of the coolest Airbnbs I've ever been to in my life. Shall we go in? Ah! Let's take our shoes off. Are there are lights. Wow. This is huge. Wow. It smells like a, a fireplace in here. I, and I feel like that might be the culprit. Look up there. That's where we sleep. All right it's then. In the loft area. Oh my gosh. They even have the confession room. Wow. They kept all the original like signage on. Well, not the original, but they kept like the look of the. Wow. This is so crazy. Ty? Maybe. It's huge. Y yeah, it's, it's huge. Sure every room. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should pause for now. Ty and I will look through and clean and then we'll take you guys to the coolest parts of it. Sounds good. Sounds good? Okay. <laughs> I'm not helping you down, Jess. You're on your side. You can stay there. I get the rest. I can't get down. It's just ladder. It's so shaky. You'll be okay. No, I'm actually You'll be fine. Can you come help me? No. So we brought all of our stuff in and I want to show you guys that this confessions light actually turns on as you can see. And when you open the door, they actually kept it sort of original to when they first built it where you have the two sides where someone's on this side giving their confession and the priest is on the other. And you can see they have like the little thing that they talk through and wow, they kept it pretty original, which is so cool. You also notice there's a few doors that are actually locked that we can't get into. This is one of them, so we don't know what's behind this wall. And also this one is locked, which is surprising, but it doesn't let you actually... Oh, wait, <gasps> does it? Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, it's just a laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this place? Okay, so that's laundry, so that's fine. Um, so that does open, but the one over there does not open, which I don't know what that would be. A small room, I guess, maybe the furnace room. And then they actually have a basement, which they've locked. So I guess we can't go down there, which might be a good thing, but it's also kind of creepy that it's locked. They've locked that right there. So yeah. And then I know Ty just showed you this room up here, but I thought it was so cool how it's like steps up to the master bed and it's, oh, <laughs> I literally just fell. It's overlooking everything and I'm kind of afraid of heights, but that's okay. But if you're staying here with people, you can actually close this curtain here so that you have like privacy because obviously if you're here with like a few different couples, like everyone can see you. So it's kind of good that they have this. And look how massive all these lights are too, eh? It's crazy. And then they have all of these framed old writings of people who, I don't know what this would be, registry, but you can see all the dates, 1845. There's even like older dates up there and down here, which is crazy, the early 1900s. Wow, this place has so much history. So this is the other side of the church that is an add-on to add more like bedrooms and stuff. So we're just putting some things away. This is the kitchen. It has a cute little breakfast nook by the windows over there. And it has two extra bedrooms over here, which are pretty cute. Um, and another one over here. So just in case you have a tons of people, you have extra bedrooms. So yeah, that's basically the entire place. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna put some stuff away now. Oh my gosh, it's so weird to see like half a church here, like what? 
As per usual, there always needs to be something odd about wherever we stay. Mm -hmm. And I'm shocked that we didn't notice this because we've been going up and down the stairs for the past little while unpacking. Falling up and down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> we have our classic insidious tent right here. Yeah, what's with that corner? Why are these tents always in like horror movies? Like especially with like ghosts and all that stuff? If it was closed, it would be creepier though. It would be, but now we have to keep an eye out to make sure the moose, the pink bear, <laughs> or the big brown bear doesn't start moving around on us. Ew, that's gross. And they're like right under where we sleep too. Yeah, Fall the tent's gonna move around. I guarantee it. Stop, let's not put that into the universe. That's scary. I agree. First, a quidge aboard. Now, creepy tents. Creepy tents. All right, guys, so it is nighttime now. It's actually not that late, but it looks late because it's dark. What time is it? It's probably like seven o'clock, I would say. I don't have my phone. Um, yeah, right on the dot. Really? Is it actually like 700? 707, but. Oh, okay. I was like, whoa, I'm psychic. Pretty good. Yeah, I can see it's all dark out here. It's a little eerie to be in such a big place. Like, it feels a little weird, right? Well, there's also not a lot of light in here. It's very like, this dark. This is as bright as it's gonna get. Yeah. Like, it's nice for the mood, I guess. It's not too <laughs> glaring on the eyes. I'm not complaining. I have trouble being in bright light, but Jesse also has trouble being in dark light because you just I have can't the see. opposite. So my eyes, after I got Lyme disease, they got all messed up. And basically my eyes don't adjust to any sort of like dim light or dark light. So my eyes don't adjust to the dark like yours do. So like right now for me, it, it's very, very dark. Like I was struggling to even read. We were playing a game just now and it's hard to even read what was on the, the game pieces. Um, but we're playing Boss Monster. <laughs> Is this a popular game? Would they know what it was? I only know of it because my friend introduced me to it. Yeah. Because my friend has all the board games, so. <laughs> I figured it'd be one of the games that I enjoyed that Jesse might actually enjoy because it's pretty simple once you get used to it. Yeah. So now we're gonna play Battleship. <laughs> we're like little kids. And then we're gonna play Jenga because we found uh, this Jenga at one of the little gift shops that we went to. So we're gonna play that. And guys, look at this, what are they called? Ropes? Chains. Chains for this fan. It's so long, oh my goodness. Well, you have to be able to reach it. The ceiling's what, like 20 feet up? Yeah. You need a long chain. Also, this is a little bit embarrassing, but when I went up there and like was looking around, I actually had a panic attack because when I looked back down, it was so far. Like it doesn't look like that far from here, but when I was up there, I started like hyperventilating and like almost crying and Ty had to like tell me how to get down. So that's embarrassing. Anxiety. Like for real though, anxiety. I do not like heights at all. So even when I'm up there, I'm a little bit nervous. So, you know. <laughs> Anyways, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. So we're just gonna play some games and uh, we'll update you guys later. Easy Jess, easy now, don't do it. I'm so scared. Easy, easy, one hand, not two. <laughs> Jenga makes me so nervous. Oh. Oh, 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 you can't drop it. You can't drop it. Yeah, I can't. No, you can't. Yes, you can. can't drop it. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Job's still not done. You gotta put it on top. There. There you go. Wow, this is pretty rickety. A little bit, especially because the first moves I do are these two down here. I know, I hate that. It makes it fun. He doesn't trust me. That's why uh -oh. he turns the camera on because he thinks it's gonna fall. Uh oh. Look at it shaking. It's fine. I got it's it. shaking, I Jess. Got it. Uh oh. oh. I got it, see? Oh. That's not a good idea. No, that's not That's not a good one. Oh, but oh, this one is. that's a really good one. I don't think I've ever played a game of Jenga this long. Well, because you're playing with me. <laughs> you're the master. I'm not the master. I just played this too much when I was a kid. Guys, so this is the original height so far, and we've gone a decent way above that, so I'm not sure if that's commendable or not, really. I think it's pretty good. Well, we're probably going to mess up in the next turn. We're not even going to have the camera on. <laughs> I think she's getting desperate. I pull this one out. The tower's Ooh. twisting too much. End the suspense. <sighs> what kind of placement is that? It fell. <laughs> <laughs> it fell and it was him. No, was it? You had the block in your hands. It was him. <laughs> you mad? Yeah, I don't even know what we're doing. We're like four years old. So this is the product of what happens when you put two sore losers 
against each other in the same board game. Yeah. So we played Jenga, we had our fill, and now it's a competition of who can build blocks higher. We're sitting at nine blocks. There needs to be a foundation just because this table is slightly uneven. And I clearly lost. No, you come on, you can do nine. I can, I tried and it fell. You won. Sorry, what was that one more time? <laughs> What? <laughs> well, anyways, as the night is coming to an end, we should probably close off. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow, we're going on some more adventures, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. See you guys. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally touch it. <laughs>